I'm glad to welcome all of you who are participating in the, this conference on the formulation of our nation's energy policy. And I particularly welcome those of you who've traveled to New Mexico to be part of this. We're at a major crossroads in deciding how to best address our nation's energy security. Our own domestic consumption has continued to rise, and with it, so has our dependence on foreign supplies of oil and gas. Unfortunately, worldwide demand is also on the rise, spurred by the, on by the dramatic growth in the economies of China and India. With this increasing demand for fossil fuels, coupled with political instability in the parts of the world that we are relying on for that fossil fuel, we have experienced volatility in both supply and in price. As this meeting convenes today, Americans are paying around $4 a gallon for gas, which adds tremendous pressure on already stretched family budgets. Of serious concern is the problem associated with greenhouse gas emissions and its effect on global climate change. After years of discussion, we finally reached near consensus that we must take steps to seriously curtail greenhouse gas emissions. But what's less clear is how best to move forward. We obviously can't drill ourselves to energy independence, but neither can we meet demand solely through conservation or by replacing fossil fuels with renewable or nuclear energy. So as we work through these difficult issues, I have no doubt that New Mexico will be a big part of the solution. We have great universities doing cutting edge research and training tomorrow's engineers and scientists. We have the national laboratories with their brain trust working on many aspects for meeting our energy needs. We have entrepreneurs in green energy and in conservation and efficiency and we have a very diverse energy industry extracting fossil fuels and capturing renewable resources such as the sun and wind and biomass. And we have manufacturers producing biofuels as well as new feedstocks for the next generation of biofuels. It's particularly fitting that after exploring the many topics today, you're going to take time to recognize the many and tremendous contributions of my colleague and friend, Senator Pete Domenici. Pete and I have worked together for many years as members of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, developing policies that will help meet our nation's energy needs. I'm proud of the work we've done together. And as Pete wraps up his 36 years, in the United States Senate and his even longer record of public service, I join you in saluting him for his service and for his lasting contributions. Again, I wish you all a very productive conference and I look forward to reviewing the results of your findings. Thank you.